you know, forget stadium events, my weight loss coach. Hey, what's up everyone? COE33 here with my sister Leaf. Hey guys! We're on the hunt looking for bargains on video games and uh, we just stopped into a Goodwill and found kind of a cool item for our Tomb Raider shrine. We found the original Tomb Raider movie on HD DVD which is pretty cool considering usually it's Blu-rays or DVDs that you come across. This is the first time we've actually ever seen an HD DVD. And uh, yeah, we thought we'd pick that up for $2.99. So we're going to keep looking. We're going to go to some Goodwills and various thrift stores and uh, see what we can come up with on this rainy Oregon day. Yeah! We just went to a value village and had a really nice score. Right off the bat we saw this, World of Warcraft, The Art of the Burning Crusade art book. So that's a very cool item for the World of Warcraft collection. This was uh, $5.99, which I'm actually not sure if that's a good deal or not. But it uh, doesn't really matter, it's going right in the collection and we're happy to have it. And then we saw a couple big box Sierra games. So that's always very good to see, and we'll go over those when we get back to the game room. But uh, I was looking through them and I noticed that the discs were missing from one of them and we weren't gonna get it. But then Leaf spotted a couple loose discs hanging on a rack. And... That's why Grandpa calls me Old Eagle Eyes. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Huh. And she noticed that the discs hanging on the rack belonged to the big box Sierra game that was missing its discs. So we brought them all up to the cash register and said, hey, this goes to this, will you give this to us for free? And they said, yeah, of course. And then add that on top of the fact that we donated some items and got a percentage off our total, we just got a really good deal. So, so far today is kick butt and we're gonna keep looking. Keep on hunting. That's right. We just went to a St. Vincent de Paul and they had a whole bunch of NES and Super Nintendo games, but the prices were insane, way all over eBay prices. Uh, but we did find an NES game that uh, looked interesting because I used to absolutely love this TV show growing up, and that's Airwolf. So that was five bucks, so yeah, not too bad of a deal. Yeah. And uh, it's more of a nostalgia thing just because... Uh, did you watch that show? Um, no? I don't no? think so. I did. I used to love Airwolf. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it was really fun back in the probably late 80s, I imagine, that was on. So cool addition to the NES collection, and uh, we're still on the hunt. Yep. We just left our favorite local video game store and they had a buy six NES games for $20 deal going on. <laughs> and we got a pretty good deal on some common NES titles that we don't have in the collection yet. They gave us a coupon when we checked out for 25% off. Apparently they opened a new store one town over and uh, for our first purchase we get 25% off. So I think Ooh. I think we'll work our way that direction and see what that's all about. Yeah, why don't we? We just went to a Target, which is not a store we typically go to when we're game hunting, but we thought we'd give it a try to see if there's any deals, and I'm glad we did, because we got two new additions to our Wii U collection, which is awesome, and the prices were great on these, so I think we might go to Target more often, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. If I agree. Get, if we can get deals like that, we'll definitely uh, check it out. And, uh, of course, we'll go over this later when we get back to the house, but, uh, yeah, we're still, you know, on the hunt, looking. Today's been really good. We've got, you know, the back of the car is stocked with games, so... Hopefully the day continues like that. It's, you know, about noon, so we'll probably get some lunch and then keep looking. Yep. Since we last talked to you, we've made several stops. We went to a Goodwill and picked up a few things. Where did those go? Do you have those? There we go. And, I have uh, them. Yep, she's got them. And right there. And we'll go over these when we get back to the game room. And then we went to the evil corporate entity known as GameStop and picked up dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Uh, you know, the price tag's not even on here. There's a sticker for $7, but that's not what it was. It was really cheap. And uh, I have the pro card, so. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheapest chips, as I say, over the across the pond. 
And then um, Leaf found something that she's been looking for and really was stoked to see for $1.79. She got, let me bring it up here so they can see it. There we go. My weight loss coach for the DS, and it has its little pedometer in there, and that's uh, something that she's really excited about. And then we went to that new store, Pixel Battles, that we were talking about. They had given us a coupon, and they said it was for 25% off, but it's only 25% off of shirts or hats or wallets, so we have no interest in that. Um, and their game selection really wasn't that great. It's more of kind of like a go in there and rent consoles and play consoles on TVs type place, but, you know, for people like us that have every console on the planet, it's not really necessary. And uh, we ended up picking up a few Blu-rays though. So for $4 each, we got Robocop, which is awesome. Not the new crappy Robocop, the, the real Robocop. If your kids haven't seen the real Robocop, go out and watch that. And then Rocky Balboa. You Adrian! Yeah, that's right. One of uh, my favorite movies of all time is the original Rocky. It's got one of the, one of the greatest movies ever, I'd say. And uh, you like Rocky too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that your Rocky impression? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, so, yeah, a couple of Blu-rays for the collection. So uh, I think we're going to keep looking. We'll make a full day out of this. And, uh, you know, it's going so well so far that uh, why don't we just continue? Yeah, let's. Cool. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's dark and you can barely see us. Apologize for that. We've been game hunting all day. We've stopped at several thrift stores and picked up a bunch of stuff, and we actually stopped at a Goodwill that we almost didn't stop at at the very last second, and we got the best score of the day. Uh, some really good stuff here, uh, a couple high-ticket items for super cheap. So we'll share that with you when we get back to the game room. See you in the game room. We're back in the game room, and one day has passed since we went game hunting. Uh, by the time we got home, it was really late at night, and we were tired, so we thought we'd wait till today to film for you. We got lots of great stuff to share with you, which we're looking forward to doing. And uh, by the way, Leaf is back here playing Alex Kid, <laughs> really enjoying that. So our first stop was at a Goodwill, and we picked up Tomb Raider for HD DVD, just kind of a cool item to add to our Tomb Raider shrine. And then we went to a Value Village and got this really nice art book for World of Warcraft Burning Crusade. I was looking through this last night and there's some really nice concept art in there. So that's kind of a cool addition. It's in great shape too. And then we got a couple big box Sierra games. So King's Quest, Mask of Eternity, and a very nice item, Lords of Magic Special Edition. And there's lots of cool stuff in here. All kinds of books and goodies in there. We went to a St. Vincent de Paul after that, and we picked up Airwolf for the NES. That was $4.99, and I know you saw the car footage. I really enjoyed this TV show growing up, so I doubt this game's any good, but who knows? Give it a shot and see. And then we went to a video game headquarters, a game store that we go to frequently, and they oftentimes will have common NES games that you can pick up, and they have a deal where if you get six, you get them for $20. So all the labels on these are really good, and we don't have any of these in the collection yet, so... We went ahead and picked up 10 Yard Fight, and all these have sleeves, which is really cool. Bases loaded second season. Ice Hockey. World Class Track Meet. Anticipation. And Zombie Nation. No, I'm joking. Othello. <laughs> So that is the pickups that we got at Video Game Headquarters. So I'm going to go ahead and move these items off the desk and move more items in, and we'll do a jump cut right here. After leaving Video Game Headquarters, we headed over to Target just to see what they had. We hadn't been there video game hunting before, and we thought that maybe there will be clearance items. And uh, we got a couple additions to our Wii U collection, which is always cool. So we got Shovel Knight, which I have yet to play this, and I'm really looking forward to it because I know everyone's been praising it for quite a while. And I wanted to get a physical copy and... Uh, I thought the Wii U copy would be a good route to go with this game. Um, I'm really looking forward to digging into this. This was only $20, which uh, seems like a really good deal for a physical copy for the Wii U, for a game that uh, I think this didn't get released that long ago for the Wii U. So very cool addition to the Wii U collection. And then for $7, we got Ninja Gaiden 3. So very cool. I have no idea if this has been reviewed well or not. 
Um, it looks pretty neat from the screenshots on the back and from the description. So another game that'll be fun to try and for the price you can't go wrong. Then we went to a Goodwill and a really cool find, and there's actually footage from when I was in the store and I found this, which is Wipeout Pure for the PSP. And I was actually just watching a video that Pocket Rocket Radio um, was doing where he was reviewing this. I'll go ahead and put a link in the top right corner so that you guys can check that out. And uh, it looked really cool from the gameplay that he was uh, presenting. And uh, we have this, we have Wipeout, uh, what is it, 2048, I believe it's called, for the Vita. And um, it's nice to have another Wipeout game in the collection, because these are always a lot of fun. And we also picked up Sports Champions. Now, this was only $1.50. It was half off. It was marked at 3 so we got it for $1.50. And it's sealed. And we went ahead and picked this up because we just got the Move accessory bundle with the eye camera and the Move controller. So we wanted a, a game to uh, play with the move. So this looks kind of like uh, Sony's um, version of Wii Sports, I suppose. It looks like there's archery and all kinds of different sporting events. So that might be kind of fun. Who knows? Then we went to a GameStop and got another addition to our Resident Evil collection. Got Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. And got a good deal on that, so that's cool. And then Leaf picked up something she was really stoked to see. My weight loss coach, uh, she has this loose, but she really wanted the box and that pedometer. So for $1.79, I mean, that's a great deal on that. So she was really happy to get that. And then we went to a new store called Pixel Battles that just opened up recently. And they really didn't have much in the way of video games. Well, they had some video games, but the prices were pretty high and just nothing was calling out to us. But uh, we got a couple good deals on some Blu-rays. So we got Robocop and Rocky Balboa. And those were $4 each. So that's pretty cool. From there, we drove around and went to several thrift stores and didn't find much, but we ended up stopping in the St. Vincent de Paul and got a sealed copy of Rise of Nightmares for the Xbox 360. This is a Kinect game. I, I'm not familiar with this game. Um, it looks interesting, and that's why I picked it up. So, who knows? It'll be a mystery, so we'll find out. And then we got a really nice condition copy of Elder Scrolls for Oblivion for the Xbox 360, so that's very cool. And uh, then we went to a bunch more stores, and we just weren't finding anything, and it was getting late, the sun was going down, so we decided to go home. But we ended up stopping at one more Goodwill on the way home, and boy, I'm glad we did, because it ended up being the best score of the day, and uh, we got some pretty cool stuff. So let's start with uh, this. Okay, we've got left brain, right brain for the DS. This is something that Leaf wanted to pick up, and uh, we went ahead and got that, and that was a couple bucks. And then we got some very cool items. We got Pokemon Game Boy Advance the video. That was a couple bucks. We got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. That was also a couple bucks. And then we got some really nice PlayStation 2 pickups. Dynasty Warriors 3 in really good condition, complete in box. That was $2.99. And I couldn't believe this that I saw this sitting on the shelf and I, you know, it was like one of those things that you grab real quick because you're like, oh right. We got Godzilla Unleashed for the PS2, and this is, uh, I, yeah, I think it's like a $25 game, something like that, and uh, this is in really good condition, and for $2.99, very cool addition to the PS2 collection, and we don't have it, so very cool. And then in the showcase, they had Zelda Triforce Heroes, which is like a very new game, it didn't come out that long ago, and it had a purple tag on it, so this wasn't a steal, it was $24.99. But um, that's less than it goes for on uh, online or in the stores right now. So we went ahead and grabbed that because I was interested in playing it. And I think Leaf might enjoy playing this as well. So we went ahead and grabbed that. So very cool scores at the end of the day there. Especially with uh, Godzilla Unleashed and Dynasty Warriors. Um, very cool additions to the PS2 collection. And for $2.99, heck yeah. So those are our pickups of the day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And what we're going to do now is do the 250 subscriber giveaway results. So on our last On The Hunt episode, we announced our giveaway and said that we'd be doing the results at the end of this On The Hunt episode. And I want to say thank you to everyone because since we posted the last On The Hunt video, which wasn't that long ago, we've gotten almost 100 new subscribers. So that's really cool. We're just super appreciative of that. And uh, yeah, just thank you. So I'm going to go upstairs and grab our iPad because I have an app on there that does random giveaways. Um, it's like a, 
a little magic hat. You put all the names in the hat and push it and a random name comes out. So I'm going to input everyone's name that entered into the contest. So whether you left a comment on our last on the hunt video or you did a video response and you get three entries, I'm going to go ahead and input all those names and then Leaf's going to join me up here and uh, we're going to do a giveaway. All right, it's time for the big 250 subscriber giveaway. Uh-huh. You ready? Uh-huh, two thumbs up. Yep, two thumbs up. So we input all the names into the iPad. There's 64 entries into the contest. And if you did a video response, we give you three entries. So good luck, everyone, huh? Uh-huh. And just to remind everyone what we're giving away, we're giving away a $15 iTunes gift card. Go ahead. We're also giving away Final Fantasy for the PSP. Yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics, and that's sealed, so that's pretty cool. We're giving away South Park for Nintendo 64 and a clear Nintendo 64 case with its manual. We're giving away a Lego version of Marvel Superheroes. Yeah, and that's sealed as well for the Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. We're giving away Gauntlet for the PS2. Yeah, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. And we're giving away this is a doozy. Yeah, that's one VR headset for your smartphone. Ooh. So very cool prizes there. And uh, we wish everyone the best of luck. Yeah. All right. Shall we do this? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to press play here, and it's going to bring up this little hat. And let's see if I can do this on camera here. I'm going to press this little question mark. And when I press that question mark, a name will be picked. All right. Drum roll. Here we go. And who is it? I can't see the name. Oh, there we go. Dave, I am a game geek. Congratulations. Congratulations and two thumbs up to you, Dave. Yeah, that's awesome. It took a while, but I named the focus. So I couldn't see it there. So very cool. Very happy for you, Dave. I'm a game geek. And uh, send us your shipping information. And go ahead and, uh, you know, message us on YouTube. And uh, we'll get that sent out to you right away. Way to go. So before we leave you all, we want to mention that we're going to be at the Northwest Classic Game Expo on January 23rd, and we're going to be filming it on the Hunt episode, and uh, that should be a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to pick up some games, and we'll be there, so if you see us, definitely come by and say hi. And I'll be wearing my blue Portland shirt, so... Your Portland Retro Gaming Expo shirt? Yes. Okay, so keep an eye out for us, and we hope to see you there. All right, everyone, until next time, bye! So we have, oh. <laughs> was that rude? Very rude, don't do that on camera. That's too late, it was on camera. We just left our favorite local video game store and got a really good deal on some NES titles. They had a buy six for 20 deal going on. So we got, we got at least. We just got out of our favorite local video game store. Oh. For $2.99, we found the original Tomb Raider movie on HD DVD, which is pretty cool considering usually you see the... Ah. <laughs> Edit.